In this video, I will demonstrate how you can utilize internationalized routing, also known as I18N, to translate your Next.js application. I have created a new Next.js application with some basic components like a navbar. So we can navigate between pages. As you can see, we have a home page and a about page. Then I have a footer component. In here, there is just a text with footer. Later here, we are going to create the code so we can change between locals. Then we have a layout component that has the navbar, a main element with a container that holds the children components. And we have the footer in here. Then our app component is wrapped around the layout. And then we have a index.js page, that's our home page that says hello world, and a about page. I've also added Tailwind to this project. Tailwind handles all the styling. I'm running on node version 18.14 and version 13.1.6 for Next.js. Internationalized routing was introduced to Next.js in version 10. So if you're running your application on a version that's lower than 10, make sure you upgrade your Next.js application. And I will prefer to update it to the latest stable version. Let me quickly show you what the application looks like right now. So we run the server by running yarn dev. And if we head to our browser and we refresh it, it now looks like this. This is the home page. It has a text with hello world. Then we have a about page and it says my name is Robin and I'm 24 years old. We have the footer which just holds a plain text with footer. Let's head back to our code and create a new i18n config file. So in here we create a new file. We call it next hyphen i18 next.config.js. In here we can do module.export. We will export i18n in here we can specify the locals. These are the locals you want to support in your application. So I want to use EN for English, NL for Dutch, and DE for German. You can use up to 100 total locals. These limits have been added initially to prevent potential build performance. There are ways to bypass these limits with a workaround. You can also specify the region. So as an example, in Belgium, they partly speak Dutch. So if I use the locally NL, which we are using right now, and someone from Belgium is visiting our site, they will be redirected to the NL local if it's available. But let's say we change this to NL hyphen NL. This means we specified a region in the Netherlands and someone from Belgium is now visiting our site. They will fall back to the default local. So let's say we now specify a default local. We set this to EN. And when a user from Belgium is now visiting our site, they will fall back to the default local. And that is set to English right now. So you can also add local detection and set this to true. This is automatically set to true. And what this means, if you go to Google Chrome and you click on these dots, go to settings and go to language. You can now see my preferred languages and you can see English is at top. So if I have local detection on, it will check for the local that's on top. And for now it is English. So if I now will visit my site, it will set the local to English. So let's say I want to have my preferred language set to Dutch. I can change this to the top. And when we have local detection set to true and we visit the site, it will now set the local to Dutch. I'm going to show you later on that this actually works. But first I want to talk about the local strategies. There are two strategies to handle local routing. You have subpath routing and domain routing. Subpath routing will put the local in the URL path. If we go to nike.com, we can see we're still on the nike.com domain, but the subpath routing is set to NL. And let's say we change this to FR. The site will now be translated into French. By using domain routing, you can configure locals to be served from different domains. And as an example, if you go to amazon.com, you can see the site is now displayed in English. And when we go to amazon.nl, and as you can see, they serve different locals from different domains. For this video, we are going to use subpath routing because I don't have the domains ready to set up the domain routing, but that shouldn't be that hard to set up. So when we go to our next.config.js file, we can now import the config that we just created and we can add it to our next config. We need to restart the server, otherwise the config will not be updated. And now if we go back to our browser and our preferred language is set to Dutch, if we now visit our local host, you can see the prefix is set to NL. When you specify a default local here, 
and when you use subpath routing, if we change the preferred language back to English, and we go to localhost again, we can now see it's not using the prefix because the default local doesn't have a prefix. Open up our index.js file. We can close the configs for now. We can grab the local from the use router. Let's import use router first. And in here we can do local from use router. And if we would add this here, we can now see the local. And if we change this to NL, we can see it changed to NL. So in here we can add a greeting for each language. So for English we do hello world. For NL we do hello world. And for the E we do hello world. So in here we can do greetings and then here we can specify the local. If you go back to our browser, we can now see hello world. If we change this to NL, we can see hello world. And if we change it to DE, we can see hello world. Perfect. So now let's add all the locals that we use to the footer so we can switch between the locals. So if we go to our footer component, we will import use router here. In here we can create a new instance of use router. And then we can grab the locals and the local and we change this to active local and then grab it from the router. I create a new span that displays the active local. Let's give it some styling. And if we now go back to our browser, we can see the active local is now DE. And if we switch this to NL, it's set to NL. And if we switch this to English, we can now see English. Perfect. Let's create a new cons with other locals because we don't want to have the active local in the array. Then here we do locals, not filter, local, local is not equal to active local. And save this and now we can map through other locals. And then we add the local here and local index. Then we grab the path name and a query from the router. And then we want to import link from next link. And now we can return a link. We need to add the key and we are going to add the index. Then we specify a href. We add path name and query. And then we add the local. This will switch to the actual local and then let's add the local text there so we know on which local we click. Then give this some styling as well. Let's save it. If we now go back to our browser, we can now see all the locals that we used and we can switch between them. If you are interested in search engine optimization, since Next.js knows what language the user is visiting, it will automatically add the lang attribute to the HTML tag. If you open up the console log, and when you go to elements, you can see the lang attribute here. And when we change it, you can see it automatically changes. Next.js doesn't recognize variants of pages, so you must add hreflang meta tags using nexthead. You can check out the Next.js documentation, and for more information, you can also refer to the Google Webmasters documentation on hreflang. You might question yourself, but when I want to translate the site, I don't want to have this hard coded like this on every page. And that is true. And that's why we can use the use translation from the next i18 next package. Let's install all the needed dependencies for that. So we do yarn add i18 next. We need next hyphen i18 next. And we need react hyphen i18 next. Install this. Run the server again. So first we want to head over to app.js. In here we want to import app with translation from next i18 next and then we can wrap it around our app component 
like so. And save this. We can close this file. And in our public folder, we can create a new folder called locals. And in the locals folder, we can create new folder for every specific local that we use in our application. Let's start by adding the en folder for English. We can create a new JSON file in here. We call it common JSON. And in here we can add something like head and then add a text with turn your ideas into reality. And then when we head back to our index.js file, we can import server side translations from next i18 next slash server side translations. And then underneath here we can export a async function get static props. And then we grab the local from here. And then we return props. And then we add it like this. It now searches for the local and for the common.json file. Let's now import use translation from next i18 next. And then we can grab the T from use translation common. We can remove the use router from here. We can remove this greetings. We can remove this local here. We can remove this. We can replace it with T and then we grab the head. When you add new locals to this folder, you first have to restart the server. Otherwise, the server won't pick up on the new files that has been created. So what we do is we restart the server by running yarn dev again. And then we head to our browser. We can now see turn your ideas into reality. We haven't made a common.json file for each local. So let's do that. So in here we create a new folder with NL. And we create a new folder for German. We copy this common.json file. We copy it in here and we copy it in here. Let's paste this in here. I don't know if this is the correct translation because my German is not that good. Then let's head to the NL. And then in here we change the text as well. And now if we restart the server and we head back to our local host and we change the local, we can now see it changes the text perfectly. So now let's go to our about and what I want to show here is you can also use variables in your translation. Let's copy this get static props and copy it in here. And in here we change this to about. We need to import these packages from here as well. And then we can copy this as well. Paste it in here and change comment to about. We do T and then about. And now we can specify some variables. So we have the name here. The name is Robin. And then we do H. We set this to 24. And now we have to create a about file. Otherwise, this is not going to work. So in here we do about.json. And we export an about here. And what we can do now is my name is. And we specify the variable like this. So we use two curly brackets and then we do and I'm and then we do curly brackets again and then we do age years old. And let's create a about.json file for DE and NL as well. Let's copy the one from English to NL and change the text to mine nam is is name and then and ik ben h ja out and let's add it here as well mine name is name und ich bin h jahre alt and if we now restart the server, and if we head back to our local host and we change to the tab about, we can now see my name is Robin und ich bin 24. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. And then we have my name is Robin and I'm 24 years old. And if we change back to NL, we can see my name is Robin and ich bin 24 years old. You can also set a cookie so your site will know which local you have changed to the last time you visited the site. So in here we can create a new function with change local. Now we grab the local here. 
Now we can do document dot cookie is next local and then we grab the local here and then on this link here we can do on click and then we do change local and we pass the local here save this let's just restart the server to make sure everything works fine and if we now go back to the browser we refresh it and we change between the locals we open up the console log we can now see this variable is set to nl and if we change this to de we can see it changes and when we now visit this site we can see it automatically sets it to de i think we covered the most important stuff about internationalized routing with nextjs if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel it will help out a lot for now i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one